Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. It's been one week today since a fatal helicopter crash in Eden. On our media line, Rodney Cates, Rockingham County Emergency Services Director. Rodney, good to have you on the on the program here. Tell us about that day, last Wednesday, the response, the teamwork, the agencies involved, and the meeting you had yesterday, please. Um, overall, it was an outstanding response, certainly a tragic event, and our uh, thoughts and prayers certainly go out to Duke Energy and, and their employees, their workforce, the family uh, of the gentleman who was lost uh, in the crash, and those that are recovering. We're certainly keeping those in, those people in our thoughts and prayers, but from an emergency services team effort, mitigation effort, it was an outstanding response by everybody involved, um, certainly a low frequency high acuity event and there are many studies on low acuity or low frequency high acuity events um but it the team that was there pulled it off uh, very well mitigated it very well and very efficiently and we're very proud of the response that we had and and uh, the way that the incident was mitigated how many local agencies uh, responded to that rodney Overall, with the mutual aid and uh, things of that nature, there were probably 12 to 15 agencies out there. Okay. Different fire departments, rescue squads, EMS, Sheriff's Department, Highway Patrol, Eden PD, uh, Eden Fire. Uh, There were numerous responders out there. Yeah. And everyone uh, is tries to be prepared for things like this. You train for these things, but uh, then it happens, and uh, every. Every event like this is different, but it sounds uh, from what you're saying, and, and I've, I've read some of your comments from that meeting yesterday, uh, that uh, everyone seemed to come together just as they should. We did, and, and we we set up what's called a unified command, which means there's a leader from each entity of emergency services that is, is on scene to help coordinate the activities of the field personnel. Mm-hmm. So we had a fire incident commander, we had an EMS incident commander, we had a law enforcement incident commander, uh, we had an emergency management there, we had, and the, the unified command grew as the incident evolved, then we had Duke Energy as part of our, our incident command team helping make decisions for the Duke Energy aspect of it. So utilizing a unified command um, through the National Incident Management System was outstanding. Everybody knew their role. From the from the administration side or the command side, we were able to push the same message out to all of our people in each of the disciplines that they were representing, um, which made it a very smooth and efficient operation on scene. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what results in a, a safe and efficient mitigation of any emergency yeah. emergency situation. Sure. Well, I read some comments uh, that. Uh, you know, you still go back and, and think, could I have done things differently? And uh, I guess all of us do in any situation like that where it's uh, urgent and the stress is there and, and you're acting uh, quickly. Um, but um, and the, the the meeting you had yesterday, who was involved with that, Rodney, as you kind of analyzed all of that? All of the agencies, the department head and or their designee for all of the agencies that responded, to that incident were there, uh, and, and the purpose for yesterday's meeting, just as you said, was to, we've had a week to reflect on what we did. We've had a, re- a week to kind of de-escalate and really, really reflect on, did we do everything that we could have done? Could we have done anything differently? It's really like, and I use this with the media that was there yesterday, it's really like after a football game or after any sporting event that they, they video, you go back in and you review the tape. Mm. You, you may have won the ball game and you may have played excellent during the ball game, but you still review the tape to say, what could we have done better during this game so that we're more prepared for the next game? Mm-hmm. Granted, what we're in is not a game. It's a real-life situation, but it's the same scenario by which we go back and review. We don't have a tape of it, but we, we review our actions. We, we know what each individual did what which each entity did so we go back and review that after the de-escalation period and our stress levels are down and we're not making those critical decisions at the drop of a hat and we ask ourselves did we do good what did we do good what did we do bad Uh, and we just reflect and kind of review our tape if you will that's what we did 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as you evaluate all of that, then that uh, even better prepares you for the next situation. It does because you remember those things. You know, when mm-hmm. you get in the next situation like that, we think, you know, we we didn't do this on the last one. Let's make sure we cover that on this one. And, and it makes them go better. Again, these are low-frequency, high-acuity, so we don't have them every day, and we're certainly glad of that. But when we do have them, it, it keeps us better prepared uh, for the next time that we have those. Certainly, yeah. Uh, and I think the comment was made that uh, no one's really – uh, having uh, much to say about the the two passengers who survived, I, is there anything that you can tell us about them? How how they're doing, perhaps, and that situation? I don't. Um, Duke Energy is, is, has all of that information, and we are uh, working with them in, in in the release of any information. And we don't have anything. Um, we know that they um, are in are recovering and or will recover. Mm. Uh, the two passengers that were in the aircraft and uh, we're very thankful for that but as far as conditions and points of recovery we don't know what that is at this point i understand well we're just thankful that uh, you're able to to tell us what you just did that that's good news okay well that's basically what i wanted to cover i, I know um spokesperson yesterday uh with um uh, ntsb national transportation safety board said there may be a preliminary report on that accident coming out next week uh is that something maybe we're we're anticipating then it sounds like they did tell us it could be within 12 days um so it'll be uh, again we're at their liberty when they release that but hopefully when the next week or so we're up to 12 days they cleared the scene um early monday morning so uh, you know looking out 12 days certainly we should have something back and again it's going to be a preliminary report um, but could perhaps give us some indication of, of what actually occurred that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm always amazed, Rodney, when, when you see things like this uh, on TV and uh, the FAA is uh, and others, um, our NTSB, uh, these agencies just respond so quickly. Uh, are, they, are they close by their field offices or how does that work? How do they get there so fast? They do have field offices throughout the state. Um, To be quite honest, I don't know exactly where our group responded from, but they were uh, very quick on the scene. Um, They, too, were very good to work with. Uh, Again, the the team of of mitigating officials for this incident grew as it went along, and they certainly were were members of the team as well. Um, But I don't know exactly where they came from, but they they were very efficient in their response and their their operation. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, it sounds like everyone was um, uh, on the national, the state, and the local level. So we certainly commend everyone involved in in being there and responding and and doing their job. Well, that's really what I wanted to cover. Is there anything else uh, that you wanted to mention while we have some time together here, Rodney? No, I just wanted to reiterate that it was a great team effort. Um, Again, we're looking at a tragic event, but um, the silver lining there was that we were prepared. All the agencies that responded were prepared. I certainly want to give a shout out to our 911 group because they're not on scene. People don't see the 911 team there, but the 911 centers who took the initial call and the 911 center serves as that incident command until incident command is set up on scene. They are allocating resources. They are uh, making requests for resources. The, the role they play is paramount in the successful mitigation of that incident, and they are the ones that kick it off. They're the ones that start the entire process. So certainly they they were not seen, but they're the ones that are heard. They're behind the scene, but certainly a shout-out to our entire 911 staff that did an outstanding job at the onset of that call and throughout the call, but certainly they're handling the brunt of, of all of the, the mitigation uh, in the first several minutes of that call. They were bombarded with calls quickly, weren't they? We didn't receive that many calls on, oh, really? the, on okay. the crash itself. Um, well, uh, several, but I mean, not not like you would expect. Mm-hmm. But from from those calls, then prompts the allocation of aircraft and mutual aid agencies and state agencies and notification of the state. So their efforts just branch out uh, astronomically once the initial call comes in, and we get responders in route to the to the scene. Yeah. I'm I'm so impressed with your 911 team here in Rockingham County, and as you know, I talk to them every morning about 5:30 and, and check on things uh, overnight. Um, and and I, I I get bits and pieces from your staff about 
the training and the ongoing work that they do and and this with the fire and this with the EMS and and all of the they they are talking about being prepared those folks uh, have their hands right on it don't they it sounds like they do and they're true professionals mm-hmm. they are outstanding at what they do they're dedicated to what they do and uh, I could not be more proud of them yeah i'm i'm proud with you i share that pride for sure Rodney, uh, I know you're awfully busy. Thank you for taking time to to share this information with us. We all appreciate you and appreciate your time. All right, Mike. Thank you. We appreciate being able to do this, and uh, we'll uh, we'll be ready for the next one. Hope it's certainly not a tragic event, um, but there will be other events, and and we have to stand ready for those. And and I feel like we are sure. Yeah, uh, I, we've got. I'm looking at the clock. We just a couple of minutes here, and I wasn't planning on talking about this, but. Uh, since we're making some changes with uh, uh, the COVID vaccine clinic at RCC and some other things, maybe an update from you on that, where we are here in the county. COVID vaccines beginning next week will go back to the health department. They will be scheduled by appointment, and, and citizens wishing to have a vaccine can contact the health department and get that appointment scheduled. Um, but the mass vaccination clinic, of which we are in coordination with Rockingham Community College and Cone Health. Friday will be the last day of that. Friday is second dose vaccination, so those appointments are already scheduled, um, and those people are coming in. And that too has been a great partnership with Cone. It's mm-hmm. been a great partnership with Rockingham Community College uh, to provide us that facility to do that. Um, so we're glad we're at a point where we can cut back on the vaccines, and we, we have many many people vaccinated um but again that's a great partnership and a team that we've had and we hate to see it go away but it's certainly going away for a good reason Mm -hmm. sure it certainly is yeah good Uh, again that key word there teamwork for sure rodney thank you i appreciate it have a good week yes sir thank you Mm -hmm. rodney cates is director of rockingham county emergency services and the 911 system here you can get more information a couple of places let me direct you to the county's website, myrockinghamcountync.com, and on Facebook, Rockingham County Emergency Services.